Hi, I'm the Hi, lady Rita. who said the bad word. Um, congratulations, Rita. Oh, thank you. Today must be such an amazing day for you. Would you say it's one of the best days of your life today? How does Tonight? It feel? Mm -hmm. Oh, without question, without question. You know, the difference, but you didn't ask, but I'm going to tell you anyway. The difference between getting an Oscar, for instance, and, and, and having a, an honor like this tonight is that the Oscar is really uh, meant for a performance in a specific film. This, I don't call it an award, I call it an honor because it's, it's about a lifetime. And you know, how do you, in one minute, I was told you had one minute and I thought, wait a minute, I'm a Puerto Rican. <laughs> I, I can't even say hello in one minute. And I worked very hard to make this as brief and the essence of as possible. And in a way, it was good that they, they limited me because it really made me uh, search for the, the essence of what I feel. And boy, that song absolutely says it all. And it's a song that I use when I do concerts. I end the show with that. It's a great song. It's only a piece of a song, by the way, that Sinatra sang for a long time. Cynthia. Rita, after all these, Rita, after all these years, Latinos in the inter entertainment industry are still fighting an uphill battle for casting and for roles yeah. behind the scenes and in the executive suites. What do you think about that? Are you surprised after all these years that it is still such an uphill? I'm not surprised for because you know, as long as you're going to have problems with immigration <laughs> and the, re the the reform of immigration, it's always going to be well in my lifetime. It's always going to be uh, a difficult. Um, but the, the, the secret to me, because a lot of people say to me, well, what's your secret? I really don't have one, but it's about persevering. Perseverancia in Spanish, and uh, we'll get there. The door is ajar. Uh, Ricardo Montalban said that, and I'm saying that we have to open that door some more. And it, it, it will happen. I don't think it'll happen in my lifetime. I mean, I'm 82, so, you know, I'm lucky if I have another 10 years. Yes, yes. This gentleman right here. Hi, Scott Hoover with People Magazine. Hi there. Hi. Tell me oh, Scott, <laughs> champion? Champ? <laughs> no. Oh, no, no, you're well, somebody else. OK, sorry. Tell me, tell me about that, the long friendship you've had with Morgan and what it's meant to you to kind of know him from Boy, the sound is awful. What are you saying? Tell me about your, your long friendship with Morgan Freeman. We, come, we go back uh, years and years and years. And he reminded me of that tonight. I said, it's at least 46 years, maybe more when we were doing the electric company together, along with Bill Cosby, along with, um, oh, who's the lovely little singer? Um, oh, it's hard to be 82. Um, oh, gosh, a uh, fame. No, the movie. Irene. All right, anyway, we, we knew each other then, and we just hit it off. We had this super wonderful chemistry. We make each other laugh a lot. And I thought it was so fabulous that he said just a couple of weeks ago to uh, SAG after, I want to sit at her table and I want to walk the red carpet with her. He didn't have to do that. All he had to do was uh, present me the award. But that's the kind of fellow he is and that's the kind of gal I am. I've done the same for him on other occasions. We are dear friends. We have enormous respect for each other and we do make each other laugh, and we do get raunchy. Okay, right here. Right. Jeannie Wolf, how are you? I can't hear you. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. Um, we'll give you all the minutes you want. I want to know, <laughs> well, really, you've had time to think that's over. That's the difference, too. The Oscar comes at you like a tsunami, but this, you had time to think it over. I did. Can you, can you put into words that we'll give you time for what this means to you? Well, did I already say this? Because I had one glass of wine, and boy, I'm, I'm a disaster. One glass of wine, and uh, I can't speak. Two glasses of wine, and I belong to anybody. <laughs> so did I already say that it's different? I did. I did. Well, that's really what it's about to me. It's, I, but you know what's really great about this evening for me? My grandchildren, Justin and Cameron, and Fernanda Luisa, my daughter. That means everything to me. When you're 82, that, I mean, if you don't know then that that's what life is really about, 
something is very wrong with you. I've already turned down some shows on Broadway that uh, take time. And I said, you know, I, I don't have that kind of time anymore. I have to be with the, those I adore and love. And that it's lousy timing. I wish this had happened sooner, but that's life. That's life. Yes. You know, I, I have to ask you, because we're all looking at you, and you keep saying you're 82, and I know you are, because you keep saying you are. But OK. Have I had any work done? No, I know you haven't had work done, or have you? No. <laughs> I didn't think so. So that Though means, I have to tell you the truth, if I had, I wouldn't tell you. Of course not, why would you? But, but what is the secret to living a long, well-lived life? Living in the moment. Living in the moment, smelling the roses, smelling the coffee, whatever it is that makes you happy. Um, I think we spend an enormous amount of time resenting some of the terrible things that happened to us. And let me tell you, I had a lot of, if you read my book, you know that a lot of bad things happened to me. And you just have to put those out of the way and say, but look, look at tonight. Look at this, and look at the wonderful reception I got, which honestly, I didn't expect that. I just didn't. I expected people to stand up and applaud because that's the respectful thing to do. But I didn't expect people to cheer and carry on. And I mean, to see you, Meryl Streep going, I thought, coño, that's amazing, that's amazing. Thank you, I feel amazing. I feel pretty. I am wearing, uh, and by the way, this is important for you to know, I may be the only performer here tonight who is actually paid for this stuff. It does not go back at midnight or in the morning. I bought these. This is Herve Leger. It is not Hervé, because if it were Hervé, it would have an accent on the E. So everybody get that straight. And this, is, this came first, and then uh, this is Roberto Cavalli. But you know, it's so interesting that this particular biker chick jacket doesn't have silver studs. It has burnished gold studs, which I love. And I, I just think it, it's edgy, but it doesn't look like I'm trying to look too young. And I think it's elegant and uh, just terrific. I feel I look swell. <laughs> Any other questions? Thank you. Thank you.